Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hey there, clean energy enthusiasts. Welcome back to Renee Energy's YouTube channel. Today, we're diving into a question that's making waves in the hydrogen community. Can seawater be used to produce green hydrogen? It's time to explore how the vast oceans might become our next big energy source. So, grab your virtual scuba gear, and let's plunge into this exciting topic. Section 1. The Basics of Green Hydrogen Before we dive into the deep end, let's recap what green hydrogen is. Green hydrogen is produced by using renewable energy to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen through a process called electrolysis. This clean fuel has been hailed as a key player in our transition to a sustainable energy future. Typically, this process uses purified freshwater. But with freshwater becoming an increasingly precious resource, scientists and engineers are turning their attention to the oceans. After all, why not use our planet's most abundant resource? Consider this, oceans cover about 71% of Earth's surface and contain a staggering 97% of Earth's water. That's a lot of potential hydrogen just waiting to be tapped. Section 2. Can seawater be used to produce green hydrogen? The short answer is yes, seawater can be used to produce green hydrogen. But as you might expect, it's not quite as simple as hooking up an electrolyzer to the nearest beach. Let's break down the process and the challenges. 1. Desalination The first step is to remove the salt from seawater. 1. Traditional electrolyzers don't play well with salt water. The chlorine in salt can damage the equipment and reduce efficiency. So, we need to desalinate the seawater first. This can be done through various methods like reverse osmosis or distillation. 2. Electrolysis. Once we have desalinated water, we can use it in standard electrolyzers to produce hydrogen. This process is identical to using fresh water. An electric current is passed through the water, splitting it into hydrogen and oxygen. 3. Renewable energy. To keep our hydrogen green, we need to power this whole process with renewable energy. Think offshore wind farms or floating solar arrays. This ensures that the entire production process is carbon neutral. But here's where it gets really interesting. Some cutting-edge research is looking at ways to use seawater directly in electrolysis, bypassing the desalination step. For example, researchers at Stanford have developed a system that can split seawater directly into hydrogen and oxygen. This could be a game-changer in making seawater hydrogen production more efficient and cost-effective. Section 3. The Advantages of Using Seawater Now, you might be wondering, why go through all this trouble? Why not stick with freshwater? Great questions! Here are some compelling reasons. 1. Abundance. As we mentioned earlier, oceans cover 71% of Earth's surface. That's a lot of potential hydrogen. We're talking about an essentially unlimited resource. Compare that to freshwater, which makes up only about 2.5% of the world's water, with much of that locked up in glaciers and ice caps. 2. Reduce strain on freshwater resources. By using seawater, we're not competing with drinking water, agriculture, or other freshwater needs. This is particularly crucial in water-stressed regions. According to the UN, about 4 billion people experience severe water scarcity for at least one month per year. Using seawater for hydrogen production could help alleviate this pressure. 3. Coastal and island solutions. Many coastal areas and islands struggle with freshwater scarcity but have abundant seawater. This could be a game-changer for their energy needs. Imagine small island nations becoming energy independent through seawater hydrogen production. 4. Collocation with offshore renewables. We can potentially combine seawater hydrogen production with offshore wind or solar farms, creating integrated energy hubs. This could improve overall efficiency and reduce transmission losses. 5. Mineral extraction. The desalination process produces brine as a byproduct. While this can be an environmental concern, it also presents an opportunity. This brine contains valuable minerals that could be extracted, potentially offsetting some of the production costs. Section 4. Challenges and Innovations Of course, using seawater for hydrogen production comes with its own set of challenges. 
But don't worry, innovative minds are already working on solutions. 1. Corrosion, salt water is highly corrosive. Traditional electrolyzers can quickly degrade when exposed to chlorine ions in seawater. Researchers are developing new, corrosion-resistant materials for electrolyzers that can handle seawater directly. For example, scientists at the University of Adelaide have developed a coating that can protect the electrodes from corrosion. 2. Energy efficiency, desalination requires additional energy, which could reduce the overall efficiency of hydrogen production. However, new technologies like reverse electrodialysis are improving efficiency. Some systems are even looking at using the pressure difference between seawater and freshwater to generate electricity, offsetting some of the energy costs. 3. Brine management, desalination produces salty brine as a byproduct, which can harm marine ecosystems if not managed properly. Some innovative approaches are looking at extracting valuable minerals from this brine, turning waste into a resource. For instance, the brine could be a source of lithium for batteries or magnesium for various industrial applications. 4. Scale, scaling up seawater hydrogen production to meaningful levels is a significant engineering challenge. We're talking about processing enormous volumes of water. But hey, we've put people on the moon, surely we can crack this. Companies like Siemens are already working on large-scale seawater electrolysis systems. 5. Purity, hydrogen produced from seawater may contain trace impurities that need to be removed for certain applications, like fuel cells. Advanced purification techniques are being developed to address this issue. Section 5, Real-World Examples. This isn't just theoretical, there are already projects exploring seawater hydrogen production. 1. In the Netherlands, the Poshiden project is testing offshore hydrogen production using seawater and wind energy. This pilot project, located in the North Sea, aims to integrate three energy systems in the North Sea, offshore wind, offshore gas, and offshore hydrogen. 2. Saudi Arabia's NEOM project plans to use solar and wind power to produce green hydrogen from seawater on a massive scale. They're aiming to produce 650 tons of hydrogen per day by 2025, making it one of the world's largest green hydrogen projects. 3. In Australia, researchers are developing small-scale, modular systems for seawater hydrogen production, aimed at remote coastal communities. These systems could provide both clean energy and freshwater to areas that currently rely on diesel generators. 4. The European Marine Energy Centre, EMEC, in Orkney, Scotland, has been producing hydrogen from tidal energy and seawater since 2017. This project demonstrates the potential of integrating different renewable energy sources with seawater hydrogen production. Section 6. The Future of Seawater Hydrogen So, what's next for seawater hydrogen production? Here are some exciting possibilities. 1. Floating hydrogen plants, imagine offshore platforms that combine wind turbines, solar panels, and hydrogen production facilities, like oil rigs, but clean and green. These could be located far out at sea, taking advantage of strong winds and abundant sunlight. Companies like Tractable and Deme are already working on concepts for such platforms. 2. Integrated coastal energy systems, we could see coastal energy hubs that produce hydrogen, desalinate water for local use, and even use the oxygen byproduct for aquaculture or other industries. This kind of integrated system could maximize efficiency and provide multiple benefits to coastal communities. 3. Hydrogen islands, some propose creating artificial islands dedicated to large-scale hydrogen production, leveraging abundant seawater and offshore renewable energy. The Dutch have already proposed such a concept with their North Sea Wind Power Hub project. 4. Marine Transport Revolution Seawater hydrogen could be a game-changer for shipping, providing a clean fuel source produced right on the open ocean. Imagine ships that can refuel with green hydrogen at offshore production platforms, dramatically reducing the carbon footprint of global trade. 5. Deep Sea Production Some researchers are exploring the possibility of producing hydrogen at great ocean depths, where the high pressure could make the electrolysis process more efficient. This is still in the early stages of research but shows the innovative thinking going into this field. 6. Biomimicry Solutions Scientists are looking to nature for inspiration, studying how certain marine organisms split water molecules. This could lead to more efficient and nature-friendly ways of producing hydrogen from seawater. Section 7 economic and environmental implications. The potential economic impact of seawater hydrogen production is enormous. The global green hydrogen market is projected to reach $9.8 billion by 2028, according to Grandview Research. 
seawater hydrogen could capture a significant portion of this market, especially in coastal and island regions. Environmentally, seawater hydrogen could play a crucial role in decarbonizing hard to abate sectors like heavy industry and long distance transport. It could also provide a sustainable alternative to fossil fuels for energy storage, helping to balance grids with high penetration of variable renewable energy. However, we must also consider potential environmental impacts. Large scale seawater intake and brine discharge could affect marine ecosystems if not managed properly. It's crucial that as we develop this technology, we also invest in comprehensive environmental impact assessments and mitigation strategies. Conclusion. So there you have it, folks. Can seawater be used to produce green hydrogen? Absolutely. While there are challenges to overcome, the potential is enormous. From powering island nations to revolutionizing marine transport, seawater hydrogen could play a crucial role in our clean energy future. As we've seen, Turning our oceans into a source of clean energy isn't just a pipe dream, it's already beginning to happen. It's an exciting time to be in the world of clean energy, and seawater hydrogen is definitely a space to watch. The implications of this technology are far-reaching. It could help address both energy security and water scarcity issues in coastal regions. It could provide a pathway to decarbonization for industries that are currently hard to electrify. And it could open up new possibilities for sustainable development in island and coastal communities around the world. Of course, as with any new technology, we need to proceed thoughtfully. We must ensure that our pursuit of clean energy doesn't come at the cost of marine ecosystem health. We need to consider the full life cycle impacts of seawater hydrogen production and work to minimize any negative effects. Whether you're an energy professional, an investor, or just someone passionate about sustainable solutions, keep your eye on this emerging field. The intersection of renewable energy, hydrogen production, and our vast oceans presents a world of opportunities. Who knows? The next big breakthrough could come from you. If you're excited about the potential of green hydrogen and want to learn more, don't forget to check out our comprehensive green hydrogen development and financing course at reneeenergy.com. We cover everything from production technologies to project financing. Remember, the future of energy is green, and it might just have a salty twist. Stay curious, stay innovative, and let's keep pushing the boundaries of clean energy. Until next time, this is Renee Energy, riding the wave of sustainable solutions. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.